Oh, Wendy. <laughs> Let's just hold up. Wait a minute. It's a chopper. <laughs> Hey Health Nuts, welcome back. I'm so excited. Today we're gonna get into some summer essential oil DIYs for your summer survival kit. A couple of these DIYs are ones that I've been making for years now. Some of them are new, which I'm so excited to go over with you guys so you guys can make these at home and they can help you survive the summer elements a little bit easier. So let's hop right in. I have some really fun DIYs that are super simple to make. All of the essential oils I get, as you guys know, are from Young Living. They're super high quality and they are 100% pure essential oils, which is really important when you're looking for really good um, quality in oils, but also getting the benefits from them and they smell really nice too. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is my after sun spray. Now this has been really handy. I actually burned myself in the beginning of the spring season when we, we had like our first hot day and I went outside without sunscreen and it burned really bad. So this was the first DIY I made this summer. So for this DIY, we're gonna start by adding in lavender, frankincense, peppermint, and then just top up with witch hazel, give it a quick shake and you're ready to spray. It's refreshing, it's healing, it smells delicious. And this is a must have this summer during the hot weather. Next up we have a bug spray, which of course is a must have if you like to be outdoors, camping in your backyard, there are bugs everywhere. And honestly, I wanna live in harmony. They can do their thing, I can do my thing, um, but I'm gonna protect myself and keep them away by using my bug spray. So this is just using all natural essential oils and ingredients. I do not like using the conventional bug sprays that you find at drugstores and supermarkets. They are filled with nasty ingredients and not stuff I wanna be putting on my skin, on my clothes. They, I feel like you can never get the smell out of your clothes. It just sticks to you. And it's no wonder the bugs don't like it because I don't even like it. So in the spray, you're gonna combine citronella, lemongrass, geranium, peppermint, and then just top up with witch hazel. I love using witch hazel as my base. It's super affordable, it's completely natural, and it's really soothing on the skin. And then when you're ready to go, just give it a shake, give it a spray, ooh, just spray to my face. And it smells really good, and you can just apply this as needed. I love to do it around my ankles. I use this even on cashew because it's great for ticks um, if you have a dog, and I love this. And it's starting to rain right now, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Next up, we have an After Bite Roll-On. This is awesome if you forgot your bug spray or they just got you anyways. Um, this is great to roll onto your skin right afterwards just to help heal and soothe and stop that itch because that's probably the most annoying part when you get a bug bite. So in this roller, I'm adding in lavender, frankincense, tea tree, copaiba, and then once again, you guessed it, topping it off with some witch hazel, pop on the roller, give it a little shake, and you're ready to roll on to any bug bites or itchiness. It's healing, it's soothing, it does the trick. I love this stuff. Then we have a bug off body oil. So I'm just using coconut oil as the base. You can really use any oil that you like or even a uh, butter like shea butter, mango butter. I just love coconut oil. It's really hydrating and soothing, it has a little bit of SPF in it. So it's a great base and it's really affordable. So first I'm gonna add in that coconut oil and then for oils, peppermint, citronella, tea tree. And then when you're ready to use it, you can just take some and use it like a body lotion or a body oil. It's really hydrating because you have that awesome coconut oil, which is really nourishing. And like I said, has natural SPF. I've been using this mixture for years now. I swear by it. Even if you just mix coconut oil and peppermint oil, that alone really helps prevent the mosquitoes from biting you. So if you are a hiker like me and you like to run around with your dog outside, this is a must have. I also like to rub it on my feet, um, anywhere that, you know, those little pesky mosquitoes might bite you. And it smells really good too. Okay, last but not least, when you're outside enjoying your backyard oasis, we just got ours renovated. I'm loving it out here now. Uh, you maybe want to be entertaining, hanging out, reading a book, enjoying the outdoors without being attacked by 
the all the bugs that are that are also living in your backyard and what i really love to do is actually bring out a wireless diffuser or even if you have a outlet close enough you can plug it in um, this one here i will link it uh, for you guys in a blog post that'll be linked in the email this one's awesome it's wireless so you just charge it through a usb and then i'm just going to show you guys how to make a little bug bomb diffuser blend that you can just add in this when you're ready to diffuse and enjoy your backyard. So to your diffuser, make sure you fill it up with water first. I'm adding in citronella, lemongrass, peppermint, lemon. Pop the lid on, turn it on, and let the oils diffuse into the air. It smells really good. It's really nice to look at. Like even if you're just entertaining, it's a cool thing to have a diffuser on your table, um, but it's also gonna help keep the bugs away. Do not use those citronella toxic candles that isn't even real citronella. Use the real stuff, the real citronella oil, and you can feel comfortable breathing this in while you are enjoying your backyard oasis. So there you have it. Those are my summer essential survival oil blends and DIYs. I know you guys are gonna love them. Definitely try them out if you are an outdoor lover like I am. I mean, I feel like we have such a short period in the summer, especially in Canada. You might as well enjoy it and make the best of it. So I will have all these recipes linked on the blog post. There's gonna be a downloadable PDF so you can grab them and print it out and make these. They're super easy to do. They took me like five minutes to make each one. And the great thing is a lot of the oils that I used in these DIYs actually come in your starter kit. So if they're super multi-purpose to use both in your home and outside, honestly, you a lot of the oils that I got to use in these, I got for free because I'm on the Essential Rewards monthly subscription program, which is just a monthly customizable wellness box that gets delivered every single month right to your door. You can pick and change whatever you want every single month and you get freebies every single month as well as points to use for future purchases, which is awesome. It's like free money to use again and again because if you are into oils like me, you run out really quickly of your favorites. Enjoy your oils and have an amazing summer. Bye guys.